As you can see, the Mr. Aqua 12 gallon uh, long tank has arrived. Uh, I have it sitting on top of this deep blue uh, 36 inch by 12 inch wide stand. Um, I got the Series 2 version. You can see it has like this carbon fiber look sit, uh, right through the middle. Um, what I've done so far is I've actually uh, put a non-slip mat under the tank. That way it will reduce any vibration noises coming from the tank. And I actually, I got it from my local Sears. I'll show you right here. It is a Craftsman uh, draw liner. It is, uh, pull up the specs here. There's six sheets, 22 by 10 inches basically. And all I did was I cut two sheets that, uh, to the length of the tank. I'll bring you, give, bring you guys a closer view here. So you can see right here, super thin, barely noticeable unless you're looking for it, uh, is the mat. That way any vibration noises that are coming from the tank will be uh, reduced. And I'm trying to keep this tank as quiet as possible. So that's one of my methods. And then also, I bought a different type of mat for the, uh, the uh, sump area. It's also a Craftsman map. It's a little thicker because the pumps are going to be down there making a lot of noise. This is a Craftsman uh, foam draw organizer. It's a solid foam. So you can see it's that thick. There are two sheets in here. I'll cut them to the size that I'm going to need it. For whatever size sump I'm going to be using for this tank. Those are the specs. Cool. Alright, so I've got a couple of... Uh, uh, questions that I'd like to get some feedback on. Bring you guys a little closer and a little higher. Um, so question one. Should I or shouldn't I paint the back of the tank black? Let me give you some background information. So far what I've decided to do for plumbing alright there will be a half inch bulkhead on the right side of the tank and there will be a half inch bulkhead on the left side of the tank. Now we'll be drilling the tank. All right. So you can see the bulkheads are going to be one on each side. Obviously they're going to be a little lower. I just put them there so you could kind of get a visual. Um, also in the middle of the tank, right about here, will be a uh, PF eShop Snano Overflow Box it'll drain down into the sump. Uh, I have some lock line coming in. I'm going to be screwing in some lock line here. So basically, um, what kind uh, should I or shouldn't I paint the back of the tank black? Leave your comments and suggestions in the comments box below. Also, I'll give you guys a pretty good heads up. There will, I just ordered two aqua illumination hydras for this tank. Those are those brand new lights that uh, AI just came out with. And I bought the hanging kit, so I'm just going to hang it from the ceiling and they're going to float over the tank. Pretty cool. A lot more videos to come. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. This is going to be Archangel signing out, and I'll catch you next week.